looking glass. Please take it, raise it high in the air as I turn the microphone over to our best man. Okay, I'd like to uh, begin by thanking Mr. and Mrs. Haig and Mr. and Mrs. Wisniewski for inviting us all here to this special occasion. And a special thank you also to our bridesmaids for all their hard work in making today come off so beautifully. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Mark. I'm friends with John and Nancy, and been friends with John a little longer, for about 12 years. And I just want to take this opportunity to tell John what an honor it is to have been asked to be your best man, to get the opportunity to stand in front of all these people next to you on the most important day of your life. Thank you. John and I, uh, let, me, let me just tell you a little bit about John. John is my, uh, my best friend and has been uh, for as long as I can remember. He's the type of guy that would do anything for anyone at any time. He'd give you the shirt off his back whether he knew you or not. And over the years of being his friend, I've come to count on him for his generosity. Um, I mean, something as simple as giving John a call and saying, hey, John, I need a ride to work. John was there. Uh, hey, John, I got a problem. I need to run it by you. John was there. Uh, hey, John, can I borrow some money? John was there. <laughs> hey, John, can you return some of the money you owe me? <laughs> John was there. And let's, let's say hypothetically, if I, uh, if I ever got in trouble where I might have borrowed my parents' rental car, <laughs> got into an accident with it, and they never knew about it. <laughs> Sorry, Mom and Dad. <laughs> and let, let's say hypothetically that John was with me. You know nothing. What? Let's see how much you remember, John, because we weren't supposed to be out with the rental car. Where, where were we supposed to be? Uh, we were supposed to be at church. Church. <laughs> Sorry, Father. <laughs> if I was ever hypothetically to uh, get into a situation like that, I know John would be there to help bail me out. <laughs> but I know that uh, when I say that John was always there for me for everything, um, he, if I ever needed to talk, John and I, when we were younger, we were back in high school, we talked all the time. It was like our favorite favorite pastime. It wasn't unusual for us to spend six, seven, eight hours on a weekend night talking about everything from uh, sports to school to girls or anything else that a 16, 17 year old thought was important. And I remember, I remember uh, during one of our conversations, John and I brought up the topic of what, what type of girl we would like to find to marry. And as I recall, John wasn't too wordy on this subject, um, which is rather unusual for John. <laughs> we, <laughs> he, he basically ran off the conversation with, uh, I, you know, I'd like to find a girl that's not, you know, not too flashy or, or showy, somebody that's respectful to get along with my parents, somebody my family would like. But he really didn't go into anything more than that. But I have to say that as I fast forward these 10, 12 years and take a look at Nancy, your bride, I know now that you were either holding back on that conversation or you completely lucked out. <laughs> because Nancy is not only the classy and dignified woman you were looking for, but Nancy, in the seven years since I've met you, I've come to know you as an attractive, intelligent, classy, compassionate woman, just to name a few of your attributes. And I can't tell you how happy I am that you and John have found each other because you truly are everything I always knew my best friend deserved and so much more. And so it is a great pleasure that I congratulate John and Nancy. And if you all join me to John and Nancy, that the love you share today may continue to strengthen and increase so that you may look back on this day and know it's when you loved each other the least. Congratulations. Thank you, Mark. 12 years of doing this, that was an excellent toast. Great toast. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a round of applause for that. <laughs> you may be seated at this time. And once again, my name is Mark along with Joe. We'll be taking your request all night long, so if you'd like to hear anything, please stop on up.